What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, today we are continuing with the GTA 6 tutorial series and in this episode we will set up the police AI aiming. It's going to be a very easy build to follow so let's get started. Alright, so right now we have that our AI will see me and basically start shooting but of course cannot shoot into the ground without properly aiming. So let's go ahead and just add a state in the animation blueprint so we'll begin to aim just like we can on the player if I have time, there we go. So for this, what I'm going to do is go and select the police AI in the level and then we can see that, well, of course if the warnings cannot disappear a bit, don't worry about that um, warnings, they're from the mass AI, which is still kind of an experimental, so that's why we have some warnings, but everything is okay as I mentioned in the previous episode. Well. In the episode that we added of course the mass AI but anyway we want to go and identify the name class that we're using for the police AI which we can also go and open up with control e the blueprint and see that we're using basically the avp civilian now we want to only apply this aiming logic to the policeman so it makes sense to go and change it to uh you know the police uh animation blueprint so let's go and just identify the ai folder go to police and drag in this one and then let's say copy here so we're making a duplicate okay so then on here we're gonna rename it to abp underscore police and now i can just go and go to the blueprint select the mesh and assign that new abp police and by default everything should be exactly the same but of course now we can add more logic so if we go into the abp police what it's to do is go to the anim graph and on here we have all of the cool things now right now we have a simple you know cache pose which is just the blend space we don't even have a state so let's right click go and start to create a state machine all right which uh, we can access through here and i will select this and we're going to call this something as rifle locomotion there we go so we can actually leave the base locomotion outside but now in the rifle locomotion, we can do more things here. And of course, we're gonna also save this uh, new cached pose. I don't know how you really you pronounce it, but cached, cached, you know what I mean. And this will be basically rifle locomotion. With that said, now I'm gonna put this here, compile and double click on this rifle locomotion state. And now we're gonna add more states. So the first state will basically be uh, uh, not aiming right so it will be just idle even though we can move in idle and then we will have another one over here which will be basically aiming all right so for idle we're gonna enter in the state and just add the um, the locomotion cache pose that we have so we can search for locomotion and use the cache pose as we have done for the player multiple times and then for the aiming we need to add the you know locomotion and then the aiming animation on top like we did with our player but first of all let's you know set up the transition so first we want to create a new variable which is is aiming and this will be a boolean and then double click on the transition from that to the aiming and we're gonna plug in is aiming and then drag from aiming to idle double click on the transition and we'll drag again the is aiming variable but add a not boolean so it will be if it's not true and if so we'll go back to idle now we need to add the you know animations on aiming so for this let's quickly see how we did it in our um abb character for our player and if i go to the ending graph we have the rifle locomotion and we have the aiming state on here so it's gonna be very very similar now for now we will not add you know the aim rotation offset and all that stuff we will simply just you know blend the layers and add the animation so as you can see we have here a perfect representation of this and here it will be the basic locomotion and then we have the idle animation with the rifle aiming so you know there's no reason to add those two notes again so we can just select both of them and just copy and go back here go to aiming and paste as simple as that right like why we would do this again and in base pose we will have basically the locomotion cache of course make sure it's locomotion not rifle and now with that said make sure this is the loop animation we have here the uh, layer set up to spine 2 and that's it we can compile and save now i don't know if i accidentally touched something in the abb character but you can see that kind of there's a change where i didn't do anything so just a tip if suddenly you change something and you don't know what you changed and you want to revert changes there's a way you can go to the asset right click go to asset actions and reload and say well you would lose any changes this is what we want so i say yes 
and that's it we're back to normal just in case imagine in another scenario you made a mistake and you want to revert back but you can't with ctrl z for whatever reason or you can do that reload uh, function that i just showed you good tip anyway when i said now if i go to is aiming in the app police and turn it on we should see it moving but we don't see it why well that's because we are still not using this rifle locomotion in our main locomotion so i'm gonna switch things up and use here the rifle locomotion on the base post for the layer plant per bone and then also in this other one and of course we have the upper body slot for any animation montages as firing and now if i compile there we go we have the aiming animation and if i disable this it goes back to unarmed or idle let's say cool so with that said let me go and align this bit better right and we're good to go so now we only need to control when this is aiming variable will turn in or turn off so let's go into the bp police right and we're gonna go into the uh sorry into abp police here right go to the bank graph and now we can access little things over here so in the blueprint initialize animation which is like the the gameplay of the animation blueprint we will get the try get pawn owner node and then say cast to bp police right so we're casting to the owner which should be the police class and then right click promote this to a variable and this will be the uh, police ai bp let's let's say actor bp just to make sure that you know we know that this is the actor blueprint not the ai controller or any other thing and then with this, we can do things in the update animation. In this case, for example, get a variable and set it here. So I'm gonna go to the BB police, create a new variable, and this will be is aiming. And with that said, now we can go to ABB police, get that is aiming variable that we just added on that class, and then set the is aiming here locally, okay, in this animation blueprint with whatever is this, right? We have done this many times. And now if we change the is aiming variable here, it will change here. And that's exactly what we want. So cool, just make sure that is aiming is disabled by you know, both uh, sides. And now with that said, we can actually close the ABB police and we only need to update this, right? Which is when we fire and all that stuff. So we could technically just, you know, mm, we have the fire montage here. Uh, there, there's a thing that we could do, which is just go here, set it through here and uncomplete it we could go and disable it, right? There's an option to do this, and that will basically work. And I think that this is the way that we're gonna do it, but it will never stop aiming, as you can see. So if I try to, you know, um, avoid it, come on, there we go. Okay, he's still seeing me and shooting, <laughs> okay. Well, I don't know how much of distance I set it, but you can see that he is always going ahead and you know aiming me so i believe that a better approach instead of to, to you know do it here in the event fire and so on will be to go and simply um whenever we enter in the state of you know going ahead and uh, uh how do we say um you know ser uh, searching for the target we will update this so what i need to do is go to the ai folder go to police and open up the bp ai police which is the ai controller where we have all these when we are seeing the player and of course we didn't see uh, our ai didn't stop following us because we don't have a false condition but don't worry we'll do that a bit more in the future so we can you know lose sight of our target but for now we can keep it like this and delete this print and what i want to do is basically get the owner of this um component right and then basically cast to the bp police so we're basically going ahead and accessing the class over here and then we want to set the is aiming to true right as simple as that so now if i press play okay you can see that he doesn't aim why is that well actually there's not a very good communication between our get owner nodes in this ai controller and our class so we actually cannot do this so i'm gonna delete this and we are gonna change it to do it in the behavior tree so as you can see here we have an interface to fire and so on well what we want to do is create another interface to basically go ahead and aim so we're going to blueprints go to the police ai interface add a new interface function which will be basically aim right and then on this one we will just 
go and put an input which will be uh, m right and this will be true or false and we can have one universal function for both good so now in the bp uh, police here we have this aim so I can double click to implement it and if aim is true I can set aiming to true and if it's false to false as simple as that and now from the task itself so I can go to AI police we can go to the behavior tree we can see all the tasks we can see the chase target we can double click on this and on here I can just set the function right to to call it so I can just get the actor Drag it like this and just call the aim message over here. And that's it. I can, of course, put it before it's finished executing, right? And this will be true. Remember to take it, right? We can put it in the execute pin here. And now, as you can see, okay, he's still not aiming. Why is he still not aiming? Well, that's because uh, we actually need to get the control pawn directly. Uh, which should only have one input there we go and now yes he is aiming okay so we don't need to get the actor we need to get the, the, the pawn object reference for this right and now that is going ahead of working so when he sees me he will begin to aim and we have it implemented nicely in the task itself which is really cool right we could have done it in the animation uh in the sorry in the blueprint uh, ai controller but you can see that the get owner and casting gives us a lot of problems and we don't need one that so we want to make it simple and actually we want a really cool uh, interface function we can call aim and then set, set it to false or true so that's pretty cool anyway so that's it if you found this video helpful i would really appreciate it if you like the video and subscribe to my channel uh, remember the profiles are available in my patreon on youtube members so link in the description check out all my unreal engine 5 videos and tutorials join my discord server to with me and to other devs follow me on my socials and now yes we'll it bye bye Thank you.